folks, how are you today? This is Jones the Image of Stan Young in the house once more to teach you Haitian Creole. And uh, this is Learn Haitian and Creole 2021, which I would like you to subscribe to so that you may be provided with more videos when we upload the new videos so that you may see them, okay? And uh, I want to give you a couple of minutes to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And after you have done it, I will, you know, start teaching. One second. Okay, thank you for subscribing. Okay, now let's uh, jump right into the lesson of today. Um, in our in our previous video, we talked about um, three sounds. We talked about the nasal sounds, e, a, and o. E, a, and o which are nasal sounds. And we also talked about when those sounds are not nasal. Sometimes these sounds or these letters are not meant to indicate a nasal sound. You will see there is a grave accent mark which is placed over those letters. Let's see. All right, the, the, this one here, the, this nasal sound, which is e, e, sometimes it's not meant to indicate a nasal sound. It has a grave accent mark here. And we have this one as well, which is the uh, sometimes it is not a nasal sound because there is, you know, a grave accent mark over the letter A. And we have this one as well, which is oh. Sometimes it's not meant to indicate a nasal sound. And you see, there is a grave accent mark, which is on the top of the letter O. So this is E, which is a nasal sound. And this is N, that's not nasal here. Okay? Doesn't indicate a nasal sound. For example, for example if we say American, American, that's a, you know, a man who is an American. And this is a, a woman who is an uh, American, okay? And here we have on and an. For example, if I say bon, which is bench, and bekan, which is bicycle. Here we say bon, 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 bon. That's a, n, on, an, on, on. That was just to recap, okay? And now I just wanted to do a small or short brush up on these sounds and now we're going to be looking at we're going to be practicing actually we will be practicing um these sounds a n o n sounds sometimes the a and the o sounds they have different pronunciation let's see we will be practicing these words just practicing them okay um, let's um, take this one first, which is the A sound, all right? So you can notice that there's a knife in, in the middle of them. This letter, A and N, there's a knife in. But if you're writing, you're not going to write, you know, the I pen. It's just to help you pronounce them. That's just how you, you would say this is a A, but here, in these words, they are not A. They will be like in you will see that they are pronounced as separate letters in these cases okay so we got a lot of words here in these cases this is not in this is in all right and this is um, not on it's on but if you're writing you're not going to put the the hyphen okay menage i don't say menage i say me Na G. That's how how it is. So let's um let's drop the iPhone, okay? Let's try to drop it. Menage. Okay, can you see here? We don't say menage, we say me na g because something is important to notice. We have, we're talking about syllables here, okay? The syllables are really important, okay? We say, me, na, j, okay? Me, na, j. 
There is no nasal sound here. The E and the N, in English, the E and the N, they don't form a nasal sound in these cases. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay? That's menage. Because that's C here. That's not. This A here cannot prevent this, you know, um, letter and this letter from being pronounced this way. That's na and this is e na, not e na, okay? There's no nasal sound here. That's e na. Uh, they are pronounced as, you know, separated in different letters. Okay, that's menage, which means manage. Okay, manage. And here we have in me. We don't say in me, okay? Let's drop the I pen and we're going to see how we pronounce it. Okay, this is not any. In these cases, they will pronounce, you will pronounce them, they will be pronounced as separate letters. We don't say Amy, we say in me, which means enemy. Okay? Penib. Penib. Okay, let's jog the eye pen to see how we can pronounce it. Penib. Penib. Not penib, but penib, which means painful. Menace. Me na se. Three syllables. Me na se. Not me na se. Let's jog the eye pen to see how we can pronounce it. It, when we're writing them, we're not going to use the eye pen. Menace, okay? Which means to threaten. To threaten, okay? Menace. All right, uh, let's go again. In. Menage. Menage. Manage. En me. En me. Enemy. Penib. Penib. Pe nib, painful. Me na se, me na se, threaten. Let's go to on right now. Here we don't have the on sound. There's no nasal sound here. Okay, there will the o and the n. Okay, let's see here. The the a and the n are pronounced as uh, separate letters, and the o and the n are pronounced as separate letters. There's no nasal sound right here. Okay, here we don't say. One, we say one. All right, let's stop the iPhone to see how we can pronounce this one. This is one. And what is the meaning of one? It's mean honor. It's an honor for me to be here. It'll be your Haitian Creole teacher. You know what I'm saying? Like that's one. One again. One. Say one pam. It's my honor. Uh, uh, it's an honor for me. I mean, it's my honor. Okay. I have an. It's um. It's an honor for me to be here. Say one for me boom la. I don't say one because there's no nasal sound here. So in this cases, this is there's no nasal sound. The A and the N they don't form a nasal sound. The O and the N they don't form a nasal sound. Bone. Bone is okay. Let's drop the I pen to see how we can actually pronounce it too. Let's try to drop the I pen. This is bone. Okay, which means being early, like early. Like it's not late. When it's not late, it's early. All right, let's take the next word. Connaissance. Okay, I have to underline them here. Mm -hmm. All right, that's O. This is bonnet. Connaissance, which is knowledge. Okay. Let's drop the icon to see how we can actually pronounce it. Connaissance, which means knowledge. We don't say connaissance. Okay, we don't say connaissance. We say connaissance. They don't form a nasal sound in this case. Connecté. Okay, let's drop the icon to see how we can actually pronounce it. Connecté, which means to connect. Okay? The O and the N don't form a nasal sound. That's connecté. Connection, this is the 
Yeah, we have what we call parts of speech in, in, in English grammar. Remember, you know that already. So English grammar has two main divisions, parts of speech and the sentence. And here, Kuneke is a... So the parts of speech are verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, interjections, um, um, adverbs, all of these are parts of speech, okay? And um, this is a verb, okay, in parts of speech. This is a verb, that's connecté, and connexion is a noun, okay? It's a noun, which is connection, all right? Let's drop the icon to see how it is. Connexion. Connexion. So that means connection. Okay. That's that's it. Ménager. Repeat after me. Ménager. Manage. Enemy. Enemy. Pénible. Painful. Menacer. Threaten. Honnête. Honor. Bonnet. Early. Connaissance. Knowledge. Connecté. Connect. Connexion. Connection. Okay, my friends. This is uh, the end of today's uh, video. And, of course, we will see, you know, next time for another video. So, please... Stay tuned. Bye-bye. I love you.